Hey guys, Nick here from Nick's Taxes, back with another video. Again, pardon my voice, I'm coming over a little bit of a sickness, so throat's a little raspy still, but anyway, we're gonna be talking about the Canada Worker Lockdown Benefit. We're gonna go through the CRA website that explains what the benefit is. I recognize that I'm a little bit late on this video, I know that, but we're gonna go over it uh, just in case you aren't aware or you want a refresher. So this benefit, $300 per week if you qualify, and it's the new benefit that's kind of taken over from the Canada Recovery Benefit. The end of October was when the Canada Recovery Benefit ended, and kind of in its replacement, they put in this new lockdown benefit when necessary. So at the time when it was implemented or introduced, um, you weren't able to access it. It was only there as kind of a, uh, an emergency measure. And so now when we've been seeing this uptick in uh, COVID cases and lockdowns coming into place or not necessarily lockdowns, but restrictions, now we're seeing the Canada lockdown benefit uh, get implemented. And so those that have been affected by these new measures because of COVID um, are now able to access this benefit. So we're gonna go through the website here. Before we do, if you're interested, uh, check out my links below for uh, cryptocurrency or any other tax benefits. Uh, it supports you, supports me, all good stuff. Link all in the description there. The website will also be in the description, so if you want to follow along or if you want to get access to that, uh, check out that link. That's going to be uh, where most of your questions are going to be answered, but if you have any other questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. I should be able to help, or other people in our community will be able to help, which I think is awesome. So let's get started. I'll share my screen here really quick, and we can start talking about the lockdown benefit. The lockdown so benefit gives temporary income support to employed and self-employed people who cannot work due to a COVID-19 lockdown. That's now also changed to not just lockdown, but um, <clears throat> restrictions. The benefit is only available when a lockdown order is designated for your region. If you are eligible, you can receive $300, which is 270 after taxes withheld for each one week period. You may apply for any weeks in your region that is uh, eligible. So we'll take a look at the eligible lockdown regions. And you should be able to take a look um, and see what regions uh, are impacted by you. So it says here that the lockdown regions are only eligible for specific weeks, which makes sense. Uh, you must also check out the other eligibility criteria before applying. And if you are eligible, you may apply for a one week period up to 60 days after that period has ended. Very similar um, verbiage to the CRB information. And you may apply for the first eight periods until February 16th, 2022, if you are eligible. So right now uh, I'm in Ontario. So if I go to here, Ontario, it says all regions ongoing. So it says period is designated for the following periods, nine and 10, which is from the 19th all the way to January 1st, 2022 right now. So if you're anywhere in Ontario and you meet the eligibility criteria, uh, you can apply for this benefit each week that uh, you're impacted. So it says, check if you meet other eligibility criteria before applying. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna take a look here. And so this setup is very similar to the CRB. So you must reside in Canada, be present over 15 years old with a valid SIN, you did not receive any of the following uh, during that same week, and that's EI, CRSB, CRCB, QPIP, or short-term disability. You earned at least $5,000 in 2020 or in 2021, or in the 12 months before the date you apply from any of the following sources. This is important. So we have employment income, which is your gross pay, net self-employment income, so that's after you deduct your expenses, you can also receive that money from maternity or parental benefits, from EI or similar QPIP benefits, EI regular or special or fishing benefits, or the amounts from these COVID benefits. So either the CERB, the CRB, the caregiving benefit, or the sickness benefit. So if you want more information, you can uh, go down towards what counts. Also, you need to have filed the 2020 tax return. That's how they also help to like audit, make sure you qualify. 
He had to be in a region, obviously, that was designated as a lockdown. We already uh, went through that. A designated lockdown uh, in your region resulted in one of the following. You either lost your job and were unemployed, you were self-employed but were unable to continue your work, or you were employed or self-employed but had a 50% reduction in your average weekly income as compared to your previous year. And so that, for most people in Ontario probably, that's gonna be the criteria that fits most of you guys. Also, you did not do any of the following unless it was reasonable to do so. Reasonable, obviously, um, a word subject to interpretation, but you did not quit your job, voluntarily stop working, turn down reasonable work, refuse to return to work when asked by your employer, or fail to resume self-employment work when it was possible. Other criteria, you have the COVID-19 vaccine or it is not required to continue your work. So you, uh, if, if it's a place where they require you to have the vaccine and you're saying, no, I'm not gonna get it, well then unfortunately you don't qualify for these benefits. That's a whole other discussion in and amongst themselves. If you wanna have a video on those kind of topics or you know talking points, we can do so, but not for this video. That's just the rule that the government has in. Also, you are not self-isolating or in quarantine due to international travel. There are a few exceptions, but basically if you're traveling for leisure and you're quarantining, uh, you will not be able to access this benefit. And the other one here, you will file your 2021 and your 2022 tax returns by December 31st, 2023, if you receive the benefit for a period starting in 2022. And if you receive the benefit for a period in starting in 2021, you will file your 2021 tax return by December 31st, 2022. If you do not file by the required dates, you will not be eligible for this benefit and you would, you would need to return any benefits uh, that you received. So make sure you file your tax returns. If you need help on how to file it, file it by yourself, I've created videos on how you can uh, complete your tax return by using TurboTax, CloudTax, and H&R Block. Those are free softwares, or you can pay for the add-ons if you need additional help, or you can just uh, go into a local tax accountant to help get your taxes done and completed by a professional. But make sure you have that. So that is how you qualify. Uh, the CRA may verify your eligibility, so they may ask you to provide you provide them with additional information to validate their application uh, and then issue you the benefit after that. So if that happens, I know it can take a long time and a lot of people have complained about that with the CRB and unfortunately that's just how it works and there's nothing we can do about it in terms of uh, waiting so long for the CRA to process it. So again, um, when to apply, you can apply um, up to 60 days after that period has ended, and you have to apply for each week separately. Also, how to apply, you have to apply online here. So you can apply online or by phone, um, and you have to apply each week. So you can go um, contact the CRA or use your CRA My Account. Definitely recommend using your CRA My Account to get this a little bit faster, but if not, you can call by phone and you'll see the number there. So that is the Canada Workers Lockdown Benefit. Make sure, uh, again, that you're aware that it's taxable. Again, you'll receive 270 uh, as a net payment. $300 is the gross amount. It's gonna be impacted on your taxes again. So it's the same spiel basically as the Canada recovery benefits. So just be aware of that uh, as you move forward. But yeah, on your taxes, uh, they're gonna be withholding 10%. You're gonna be receiving a T4A and that's just gonna get reported on your tax return. No big deal there, just be aware of it. Anyway, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider uh, subscribing. And if you've made it this far, uh, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up, it just helps my channel grow. And it lets YouTube know that this is a good video with some good value and we'll push it out to more people. So I'd really appreciate that. Um, yeah, thanks for doing that. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm Nick from Nick's Taxes. And as always, happy taxing.